So I want to review really quickly this registration strategy using um, pins. Um, the, there's essentially three setups. The first setup um, is this uh, adaptive clear uh, with these drill holes. Um, the drill holes are keyed off of two points that are in are in th that were in the model space, um, and uh, then so that constitutes setup one and, and is is cut out. Now it's important to something that sort of hung me up for a little bit was I kept thinking that it was really critical that these holes um, be related be related to this x x y z here this origin and then this origin get um, related to the subsequent origin for the um, uh, the the flipping once you flip for for that setup would will eventually be the third setup um, that's not quite correct um, what's really critical is is that these points in model space are the same points to make these holes and then they're the same points to then make these cold holes in what I call setup two. So um, to be a little bit more specific about that, once I'm done with setup one, essentially that's what this was without the, without the pegs. Um, I did setup one, cut out the contour in these holes. Then I set this aside and then setup two is essentially dedicated to these holes here. Um, and then in, in that case, it's, it's, that setup is created um, off those same points that were used here, um, but in this case, uh, you know, in Fusion 360, I'm I'm looking at the model flipped, and I've created a new a new origin, um, which um, which then gets used for what I call setup three, or what essentially in Fusion 360 is setup three, and setup three is once I tap this guy on here with a double sided tape, um, we'll have a, that new origin. Uh, and then I'll cut out um, the adaptive clear and the the, contour, the profile um, in order to cut out the eventual piece. So <laughs> just to clarify something that was confused me a little bit, like I, I kept thinking that it was really critical and in previous setups it was really critical the way I did it before. Instead of using these this dowel method, um, really tracked this sort of XY position um, and then flip the material uh, in order to in order to register the two sides. That's a different method. Um, and did it work? Uh, yeah, I think I think it worked, but uh, that's not the pin method you'll find most of the time online, which is this. Um, and the key thing is is that, um, and what's not said in a lot of the videos I found online is that the critical relationship is between those points, those two point, two or more points that you put in the model space uh, and their relationship to the model itself. So that, that's what maintains your X and Y. Um, your Z, just really quickly, uh, and Winston Moy has some great videos, um, has some quick videos that, that illustrate this, um, the Z is maintained by, in, in this case, and, and what he did was surface, surface before you start cutting, surface both sides to get a consistent um, Z depth. Uh, and that essentially maintains, you know, and the, then when you have a consistent Z depth, then you put that into uh, Fusion 360. And, um, and uh, that's essentially what Winston did and what I'm going to attempt right now.